actually started recording or not. But I was saying that was a wild experience. My head hurts, like, all the way around the back, like, occipital lobe. Like, the whole occipital lobe, like, hurts. Do you have a fire next to me? Or is it just me? Um, I still feel like I didn't get as many answers as I want, but I think it's because I'm not going, like, I don't think things are necessarily gonna maybe make, like, I don't think spirit can always give me as many answers as I want, like timing. I think timing is what I'm always, like, asking about, and it's just not like time for them is very different than time for us and time is a very human constraint that I don't think they can answer so like the pest control signs are Dave I asked about Florida and oh so anyways hypnosis she like guides you into like a hypnotic state it was a very like long guided meditation basically to get you into like and then you can ask your questions and so she has my questions and she asks my questions and so Dave like did he oh he didn't come in until later okay so I recorded this so that I could like it, it's like when you did your past life progression in your life between lives and then you kind of start getting confused and like wait so asked about the signs that I'm getting and um Florida I just heard loved and Texas I heard love peace and vapor or no and no Texas was love sorry Texas I heard love Florida I heard love peace and vapor so like a peaceful vapor and California was vapor smoke but like harmful like a fire
feel very settled with where I'm at. So, then asked about the dreams, about why I'm getting the dreams about Dave, and heard, um, I'm here. And it was Dave's voice saying, like, that he was here. And he was like, because I'm Big Dave. I was, like, laughing. And she asked about why am I getting dreams about him. And it was, like, him letting me know that he's here. And that he's here for the kids. And that he's going to be there to welcome my dad. And, like, she was like, welcome your dad. And I was like, I said, my dad is vapor. And vapor is in death. So Dave is going to be there to welcome my dad on the other side. And then I kept hearing time, time. And Vanessa was like, okay, so just in time, like, be being patient. Because, like, in humans, we, you know, like, don't understand the concept of time. And then I asked about my sitter and where do I find a new sitter. And that I need to start, I heard that I need to start looking now. And to look at the Bambino app and my mom. And that's what it said. It was like Bambino and mom, but it said start looking now. And Vanessa said he or she. And that one piqued my interest that she said he or she. And I was like, huh, he. I hadn't been open to a male sitter. So apparently I also need to be open to a male and then my grandpa was there. My uncle came in and said he's going to come camping with us in July because we asked, like, what other messages do you have? My grandpa came in and started singing to me, I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck. And he used to sing that to me when I was a kid, and I would sit on his lap and he would sing that to me. And then my uncle, my mom's brother, came in with his dog, Dana, who had passed away. So it was, like, just connecting with, like, all my soul tribe. And my uncle said that he was going to come camping with us. So in July, when I take the kids camping, my my dead uncle and his dog, dead dog, is going to come camping with us. <laughs> I was just talking about him, too. About how I should have been his his daughter. And then the whole time I could feel this like cat cuddled up against me. And Vanessa has a cat and I asked her, I said, is your cat up here on the table with me? And she goes, no, she's underneath the table. And I said, okay, well then it's my cat Teddy because I feel a cat cuddled up next to me. And my cat Teddy always used to cuddle with me as a kid. She would like curl up in my nook. And then Snickers, my adult dog, and Sammy, Samantha, my childhood dog, were there. And they were playing together, and they were running around chasing each other. And she goes, she goes, my cat just ran out of the room. And I said, it's because my two dogs are running around chasing each other, and they just chased your cat off. <laughs> so it was like a big old, like spirit party. My head, I can't even imagine. I kind of don't want to take anything because I kind of want to see what it's going to feel like tomorrow. But at the same time, maybe I should take some Advil like in preparation so I don't have a massive headache tomorrow because I feel like I'm going to have a massive headache. So anyways, what else was there? There was some other stuff, but I just kept, oh, they told me my spirit, like, my dad's mom was there and said he is loved. She's told me that one before. And by that, she means my dad. My dad is loved. They told me to just be loving my dad. Like, to show my dad more love. They said, show, show him more love. Show him more love. And they told me that I need to connect more to nature. That I need to be patient what was the, oh, that I need to sit still. Oh, I need to listen. Connect, listen, sit still. Connect, listen, sit still. They basically accused me of not sitting still and not meditating enough, which is very accurate. Um, 
so I need to be taking time out more and doing more like meditation um and they said something about getting my head out in the clouds so I mean I guess time will tell but like I guess I felt like there needed to be some sort of like an action or something like that. And basically, there's no action that I need to take other than I need to sit still and meditate more. <laughs> and I need to show myself more love. And they told me to start, oh, they did tell me to start looking on the Bambino app for a sitter. So I will start doing that and I will be open to a mail. So I think that was it. I think that was everything. Um, I'm pulling in my garage, so I'll look at her notes really quick. I'm going to have to listen to yours tomorrow. I have no capacity to listen to anything. I thought I could listen to yours on the way home, but I needed to kind of speak mine out. But it was so... Oh, my grandma was there too. My mom's mom and dad. But Dave said he's going to hang around. That I'm gonna have a house in Texas in time but they said that my what did I just say <laughs> now I don't remember what I was gonna say oh that Dave is hanging around to welcome my dad and to be there for support for me and the kids. So that's kind of sweet. Definitely interesting. And Texas love, Florida love. Florida was love, peace, and vapor. I don't know what that means. And California was vapor, but smoke and fire. And then Sonora, I literally, all I could see was a bright, white, peaceful light. Like, when he said Sonora. And the moths are my mom, which I already knew. Then, so I moved to Texas with my mom. Moved to me and the kids moved to Texas, either Austin or Dallas with my mom. In time after my dad passes, so maybe my dream is gonna come to fruition at some point in time.